Here's me. You might be wondering how I got here. Uh huh. I am. Uh, by uh, setting the switch up on the desk and pointing a camera at it. Oh shit! This is a screen of a screen that's, I'm looking at. Yep, that's right. Layers upon layers. This is a bad situation here. I should probably get back to it. I don't want to get back to it. I think you'll be do fine. It. Let's just do it. Uh, hey, they're putting Dragon's Dogma out on the Switch. Okay. I'm playing Dragon's Dogma. What's that? It's a game? I've never played it before. This, to me, is one of, uh, uh, one of the kind of quintessential modern cult classics. Yeah, that's the reason I'm playing it, basically. <laughs> I know people that just love this game. Yeah. Ah! Uh, you gotta look out for that. And uh, as you take damage, the amount of health you can recover through magic in the field. Magic, magic. in the field. Also decreases. Does the K imply that it's more like arcane? Yeah, I think it's filthier. Yeah. I think it's maybe a little more eldritch. Yeah, like in you're nature. making some sort of deal with the yes, devil. Yes, yes, there's something... Uh, rather than reading a book. Yeah, yes, there's nothing elegant about it or civilized. <laughs> Gandalf uh, has never done magic. No, definitely not. So, uh... I'm climbing on this monster. Yeah! You may notice. Attack its leg, okay. So here's everything I know about Dragon's Dogma, and maybe you can fill it. Oh no! <laughs> Ow! That was... <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're fine, though. Okay, fine, sure. You know I'm still climbing on the thing. Let's jump off of there. Uh, oh, he's still going, huh? This is a good place to hit this guy. Just stab him in the gut. Um, rooks? One. Yeah, Rook is my pawn. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Fuck this. Ah! Ah! Okay. Uh, yeah, pawns. Uh, yeah, pawns are, so, uh, in game terms, pawns are AI buddies. Uh -huh. Rook is the guy, he's a, he's a magic type pawn, he's shooting fire at this guy. But in the universe of Dragon's Dogma, they are described as human and yet not human. Oh, yeah. They're like sort of human-esque shades with no free will. Okay. But they're very friendly, and they have, <laughs> and they have a lot to say. They sound kind of like physical ghosts. A what? What support are we doing here? It's legs. Oh, again? Okay. This is not super deep into the game. I mean, we're mostly, you know, Dragon's Dogma has been out for a while. Yes. It's been out for quite a few years. It's originated on the 360 and PS3. Uh, has been out on the PC and PS4 and Xbox One. Now it's on the Switch, so here we are. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to know what makes it tick and also see how it runs on a handheld as we are finding out right now. Um, but yeah, this is basically, seems to be the tutorial where they're really sort of explaining the climbing on monster stuff. Yeah. At least to some degree. What did he say? It cannot move what? Something like? No, no, Brad. He shall strike the head. I love how chatty the pawns are. It's maybe my favorite thing in the game. Uh. Cool sword. Oh no! Okay, a heavy strike will make you dismount, apparently. Careful. Oh no, don't do that. Careful. Okay, let's go around the it's floor. not looking easy. Oh no. I can, where am I? I'm kind of in his armpit. Am I hitting? Okay, here we go. I'm kind of a one-man pit crew right now. Yeah, I... Oh! Okay, we got him. That was a lot of XP. Cool. He's got, I like the arrow sticking out of him yeah, still there. He's, and then it he's, thinking, he's thinking about dying. <laughs> here we go. Um, the first time I did this fight, I climbed on his back and hit him with the sword a few times. And I had full health, but then he just plucked me off of there and bit my head off. Oh! And then I died. <laughs> this is a weird game. I'm kind of into it. So this is handheld right now. Uh, yeah, so we're in handheld here. We, you know, this is just kind of... Oh, curative magics. The area of the healing light, okay. Uh, oh! Seems to be running pretty well. Yeah, okay, so I got some rugged bone. I got some beast steak. It's my Ooh. favorite kind. Misshapen eye. What is the uh, right shape for an eye? I guess ball. Mm, yeah, spherical. Eh, more of a kind of oval type shape. Uh, let's see. Never seen an eye outside of a head. Yeah, I would, I would rather not, personally. Um, Shouldn't play Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's a good point. I have a lantern, too. Uh, yeah, it seems to run fine. I have played it probably about 60-40 in favor of handheld so far. Uh, and no complaints about the performance. I mean, you know, it's a 360 game. Right. But... That's fine. So what's going on? Hey, Rook, think fast. Oh, damn it. <laughs> eh. 
Uh, what is the dragon's dogma? Well, the dogma of the dragon, as I have understood it so far, is that... Let me, hang on. Let me see if I can find the chronicle. There's the chronicle. Okay. In another land, under another sky, oh, okay. a vast army formed to slay a dragon. Uh, basically, there's a dragon, and it's a bastard, and it attacks your village, and it eats your heart. Oh. Like, literally, I almost want to go into my photo gallery because I saved a video <laughs> of the scene where the dragon sticks its nail, its fingernail, like its uh, claw. It, like, plucks it out? Into your chest, pulls the heart out, skewered on its talon, and then eats it in front of you. <laughs> okay. And then somehow you become arisen, which is some kind of resurrected... Kind of semi-human. Sure. Use half the power of the dragon's blood. Half undead. Something, something. And now I'm on a quest. Got it. Basically. Um, and uh, sorry, I'm very far away from this. It's hard to. Okay. Turn to the rift. Okay. I think I know where. Yeah. I think I need to go back into the fort here. Hey, let me in. I killed the big guy. It's fine out here now. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. I love that, uh... Let's see, I'm not sure which way I need to go here. Mm, okay. I love the, the style of speech. First of all, everything is voice acted. Like, everything. Like, there's a stunning amount of voiceover in this game. Okay. But... Everybody is like one step away from a lot of like forsooth and mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it's all very regal uh, But yeah, I had zero problems with the handheld mode so far. It seems pretty good mm -hmm. Is that you Who's this fancy lad? Oh, any. Um, 300 gold yeah. for an inn. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not very far in, and, you know, a lot of people will be very familiar with this game because it's been out for so long, but uh, you earn discipline, which is one type of currency that you used to buy, like, skills, basically. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can... I'm a, I'm a fighter. You Basically, the, the class archetypes are basically, like, fighter, thief, mage, and that's, and that's about it. Um, but at least as a fighter... I've got a shield, so when I, you can see my, my button prompts down there, like when I hold the shield out, I get kind of different types huh. of moves, such as this baller one. What does that do? Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably some kind of taunt or something. That's a good animation. That is, that is like... <laughs> I know some people that are very fond of this game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I told... I I told Austin Walker I was going to give this game a shot, and his response was, Brad, thank you. Uh, I remember one time reading the entire Wikipedia article about the plot summary of this game, because yeah. I thought I was never going to play it, and it was so incomprehensible yeah. that I was like, it's not even worth it. Yeah. I've always been curious to play it. Yeah, same. Because it just... It, like, came to PC relatively recently, right? Like, a, a year or two ago? I wonder if... So it definitely came to the new consoles, or the, the, the current consoles, yeah. uh, around that time. Oh, the, PC, the PC release might have also been then. We're about to start saying next-gen again. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Uh, I should have read that. I wasn't paying a ton of attention there. You're thinking about new consoles. That's right. I'm thinking about the next release of Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> oh, hey! Okay. Let's get pawns. Oh, can you... Are you online? Are you online right now? I think so. Because I, I know you can access pawn yes. other people's pawn. OPP. When they, they sent this around for preview, and they were like, Capcom has made a special pawn if you would like to invite it into your game. I should have probably maybe had that ready to go, but you can make your pawn pose. All right, Brad, let's see your pawn. I want you to make a, the greatest pawn. Okay. Uh, can we get Fiona Apple's input on this pawn? Um, sorry, I'm having to try to look at this thing without getting in the shot. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall, man. Yeah. Okay. Make a lady pawn. Let's see. She can look pensive. 
She can look. Walk. She, can, she can look active. Bored. I like. Okay, that's good. Sure. Okay. Remember, Nintendo Switch. Oh, right, yes. They also make you pick a, like, a preset name for... Oh, sure. In case you did something bad. <laughs> in case parents don't want you to... Sorry. Right in the shot. I'm trying to see. This is very small text. All right. That's a, that's a kid-friendly name, right? Yeah. Um, uh, the one thing I will say in the handheld mode is that some of the text is kind of small. Mm. If you have With the age. implication of, like, you're going to be holding it right in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah, if you have aging eyes like mine... Maybe a little hard to focus on some of this stuff, but mm. okay. Uh... Oh, that was pretty Fiona Apple-like. Which one? Uh, oh, I... it was like, I kind of saw two. I went, that's close. That one? Kind of? Yeah. I mean, there's, you, there's tons of customization. You can, not that we'll spend a lot of time on it. But... Oh, this is the rest of the quick look. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What are the, what are these? <laughs> oh? Sounds <laughs> just like her. Does this qualify as ASMR? Well, I don't know. I think we're about to find out. How do you feel? Well. I don't want you to keep doing this. <laughs> okay. Make more detailed edits. Sure. Yes. Let's see what let's see what old Balrog has got going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how many pawns you can have at one time, or if this is going to replace Rook, who was just kind of provided by the story. I, I you know what, in the intro of the game, like, you, you kind of play a, a flashback for the intro, and you have, like, three pawns at once there, so. Is this the near of last generation? I guess, well, near was the near of last generation, <laughs> but the way people talk about this game reminds me a lot of how people talk about Automata. Yeah... I guess I could see that. Sure. Uh, okay. Eh, let's just keep going. No, no. continue editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. hey. Okay. All right. Face with danger. Which trait would you most value? Uh -huh. Iron will. Quick thinking. Careful preparation. I feel like quick thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Kill all enemies. Uh, Honestly, I think if I can kill all enemies, I'm going to kill all enemies. Yeah. I like that you can see, though, what... Yeah, I was what, trying to... Except I don't know what any of those mean. Scather, medicant, <laughs> mitigator, challenger, utilitarian. Huh. Interesting. I guess maybe those are classes. I do. We'll I, want a, I want a good scather on my team. Yeah, get a scather. Uh... Kill All Enemies also has pretty high medicant, which seems like it would be a good support thing. That's sure. I like that you can still view the poses while you're doing this. Oh, yeah. There. Uh, hmm. Ooh, I like now Master Strike the Final Blow, because it makes me feel like I'm in an anime. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh... Oh, hey. Okay, well, I'm a fighter. Uh, Rook is a mage. I guess I'll make her a strider? Oh, like a cool cyborg again, ninja? Sure, yes. Yeah, like, she's gonna have that, that sword, that shing, shing, yeah, shing, shing. Throw shing. some panthers at people? Yeah. Well, everything I know about strider, I only know from Marvel vs. Capcom. Shh. Strider's a good game. Yeah, I think I'd like it. What's up? Oh yeah, also they just get birthed out of the ether. 
in a sort of unceremonious way. <laughs> Did you choose how your guy looks? Yes. You did a good job. I kind of just make the same character in every game with the character creator. It kind of looks like modern, like, uh, what was that movie that Anthony Hopkins is in where he plays an old king? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I'm not sure the it's name. I got one of those vibes going on. Like, uh, this dude was a crazy warrior like 20 years yes. ago. Yeah, so he, his name is Flugan. He basically is, he was my paladin from WoW beta in 2003. <laughs> and I just keep remaking him in every game with the sort of, like, I guess it's headcanon of he basically just keeps getting dragged back into adventure after adventure against his will. And he's very grumpy about it. Uh, okay. Wonderful. I don't know how I feel about a bunch of minions without who are lacking in free will bowing to me. <laughs> Uh, okay, in addition to this main pawn. Okay, so is Fiona my main pawn? Or is it Rook? I'm assuming it's the one I just made. Uh, Alright, why don't we go docked for a little bit here. All so right. People can see how that runs too, because this text is a little hard to read from this far away. Engage docking. See, like it, it was a handheld just a minute ago. Yeah. And then I stuck it in this weird slot. It like... Now it's on the TV. It changed. Now it's on the TV. It's called the Nintendo Change. Yes, the Nintendo Swap is my favorite console. <laughs> uh, okay. Pawn's knowledge is... It's so much easier to read. Yeah, I know. I can actually read it now. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. I leveled up. Wait. I'm sorry, what? Uh... Is there something... F-I-O-N? Yeah, is there something I'm missing here? Mm. <laughs> um... Okay. I, uh... That, see, that edited like that is so much worse. I know! <laughs> like, what do you think I... <laughs> like, do you think I had made a lady called Fucka or something? Like, what the... Like, this is terrible. I mean, that is our canonical name now. <sighs> this is the most Nintendo thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man. I don't know if you can change their names either. I'm gonna look look at this up real quick. I, yeah, I really, I am completely clueless as to what could have triggered that. But whatever. What's uh? Oh hey, it is a it is French slang for anus. Okay, all right, <laughs> great. So oh, there you go. Uh huh. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wow. Man, is that what this game is? Yeah. People's people's pawns just randomly wander through you here? Just, yeah, it like populates them with... And I can just run up and say, like, hey, let's go. This is one of the only things I know from the game, because of a video where somebody was just going through all the... looking at a bunch of people's pawns. That's Pongo! That is super cool, actually. Like, I, I knew you could recruit other people's pawns, I just didn't realize they did it in It would be, like, in like, a menu or something. Yeah, yeah, this is, like, a kind of a cool little, like, social thing. Avira, huh? Level 11. Hmm. Eh. Well, Wait, a... I'm Bongo. Bongo. Bongo's only level 4. Oh. Vyra's level 11. Sorry, me lord. I wonder if you have... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I don't even know what RC is, but I definitely don't have enough. Uh, that's cool, though. All right. Can you, like, hit a button to recycle? Uh, get these guys out of here and get another batch. Oh, I don't know. I don't see a way to... Oh, yeah, you can you can send away. Okay. Later, later Patricia. Oh, okay. Sorry, Kaylin, you don't make the cut. Oh, man. Get the fuck out, Marcus. Okay. Okay. What's up? I'm Amel. I like strawberries and long walks on the beach. Can I join your epic quest? Oh, Carmel, huh? You can send off to Parting Ponds with a single gift. Single item is a gift for their creator. That's cool. All right, I don't have enough to hire anybody right now. Ooh, uh, ooh, 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 top ranked. Come on. Come on, game, you can do it. It's trying so hard, it's like, it doesn't know if it wants to be docked or mo it doesn't know what kind of console it is. Come on, game. There we go. Okay, Pawn is online. Number one, on. Jill. <laughs> Huh. Act of Covenants, huh? 
So little game... little cuter. <laughs> oh, the hound. Hmm. Can we can we see Obliveroth? Can we see Diedrich? Strange search. Like, see what they look like? Yeah. Let's find out. Let's get the hound in here while we're at it. Blink belly. <laughs> Oh, I saw Geralt on that list, of course. I wish they would just tell you when you enter the name, like, hey, this has got a foreign swear word in it. Yeah. This is not gonna fly, and then I would just change it. It's a cool hat. That is pretty good. Too rich for your blood, though. Yeah. I just wanna see what the hound looks like. Oh! Oh! Well, yeah. The hound is an imposing figure. Pretty good one. Also, he's red. Alright, let's get out of here. Where's the mountain? Can I fight these guys? No. Okay. <laughs> Bad idea. All right, let's uh, explore a little bit more. Maybe fight something before we go. Yeah. I don't know. This is weird because you know the game has been out for a very long time at this point. Oh hey. A master in his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force. Come the day you learn to fight. Who is that voiceover? He is in some game I have yeah. been playing recently, and I can't put my finger it's... on it. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. Oh, this is gonna kill me. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. Uh... I'm trying to think back through the last, like, dozen games I played because he definitely was in something very recent. The men of the Enlistment Corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Are you? <laughs> As you will. Come back when you steal yourself to train. Oh, this is going <sighs> to drive me insane. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, I have no quests. Can I just explore? So how, how big is kind of the area you've been uh, in? I'm certainly not an authority, but from what I've seen so far, the areas are like fairly small and compartmentalized. Like, they're all about this big. Okay. Like... Even as I have run between, like, a, a town and this fort, the area that you're in is, like, that big. Alright, do I have to talk to this guy? Eh, maybe I'd have to find. The man of the... Let me be clear from... Uh, everyone in this game is listed as additional voices. Oh, yeah, they're... they're other than Troy Baker. Training in sequence. Like I said, every NPC in this game has full voice acting. Like, there must be a billion voice actors in this. Uh... Each serves to hone a different quality. He kind of sounds like Pangolier. From, uh, Dota. He's not... He couldn't be an Apex. If you find oh! A task too difficult to manage, I don't think. Could he, not, could he not be Bloodhound? No, definitely not. Or is it, uh... Octane? I don't think so. The first task is carrying free. If you know, leave a comment. Oh my god, this is killing me! He really sounds like Pango. I'll probably think of it as soon as this video is over. I, just, I haven't been playing a lot of story-heavy stuff recently, except for maybe Sekiro, but that's obviously all in Japanese. As soon as you're prepared, your task is to haul all of the freight before my count ends. Get to it. How's it uh, control with the Joy-Cons? Uh, it's fine. As fine as anything with Joy-Cons is, I would say. It really depends on how you feel about that personally. Yeah. Oh boy. I wonder if I can just exit this quest. Uh, this is not necessarily what <laughs> I wanted to do in this quick look. Oh my god, wait a minute. The pawns are doing all the work for me. Hell yeah. Huh. Maybe this game is amazing. Let's go get lunch, dude. <laughs> uh, I suppose I could help carry boxes and make it go faster. Blanca says the deadline draws near. Oh, we can call her Blanca. True. Instead of Balrog. Uh, Could it be Phil Lamar? No, who apparently well, does Pangolier, which I didn't. Oops. 
Wrong button. Uh, I mean, Phil Lamar does a million voices. He's yeah. good at sounding like anything, So, yeah. but I, I don't think that's him. Whoever it is, like whatever game I'm thinking of, they do that exact same accent. Oh, it's it's from Anthem. It's it's the old um, it's the old freelancer from Anthem. Enough. Like the grizzled old veteran who doesn't do missions anymore. That's hmm. most Anthem players at this point. Hey oh yeah. Boom. Uh, but yeah, the, he is doing that exact same voice in that game as well. Okay, did I finish the quest? What's going on? We'll begin as soon as you're, you're I'm ready! Is to do we have to do it very quickly? I think I, also missed the, I must have missed the deadline. Maybe I do have to help my guys. A weird thing to have you do. Yeah, kinda. I mean, like picking stuff up and carrying it around or throwing it seems to be a fairly big part of the game. Let's see if I can do this real fast. We have time of plenty. We have time of plenty. Blanca says you have time of plenty. Oh, I'm so annoyed about her name. <laughs> I mean, it's a good quick look moment, but... Uh, did you guys get all of them? Is that the last one? There were only four, right? Yeah. I think what that's... happened to plenty of time? I think that's the last one. Hurry up, Pawn! Go! Oh, go! Enough! Did we do it? Well done. Nice. Yeah, that's right. I can carry a box like a mother. Next is combat training. A large group will be a company all doing the same thing. All right. Well, you can at least see me fight something real quick. Uh, I mean, you know, we, a lot of the point of doing these Switch videos is just to be like, hey, how does this run on the Switch, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, like I said, people, a lot of people know what Dragon's Dogma is, but don't necessarily know how it's going to run on this bizarre little tablet console. Oh, there's more. Oh, shit. Wait, where? They're all over. There's a couple over there. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's interesting. I mean, it's not a Dark Souls combat system at all. Like, the, the attacks are on the face buttons. Uh, but it does kind of feel a little bit like that kind of game. But there's, yeah. but there's no lock-on or anything. Like, that's the one thing. I was actually Googling about that. Uh, did I get it? Did I get it? It will come in time. Oh, sorry. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Um, but I found a bunch of, like, old GameFAQs threads of people complaining this game doesn't have a lock-on. Because, <laughs> like, there is enough of a commonality with something like a Dark Souls that you feel like it should have something like that. You don't have, a, like, a roll, do you? No, there's no dodge or roll that I've seen. But uh, that kind of... It seems like you have some deliberate... Oh, wait, God, that is a Scarecrow, isn't it? Some weight behind your swings and stuff that'll leave you pretty vulnerable if you're yeah. just spamming against an enemy. Yeah, definitely. Uh... So yeah, it's almost like a hybrid of that. Like, this this game is a little bit Dark Souls, a little bit Skyrim. It's got the weird pawn stuff. Well done. All right. Right then. There are one fall. If you're not mindful of how you attack, vary your party and your attack will begin as soon well. It Destroy more scarecrows. The green ones are weak to magic. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen at all, is it? You can see this being fun when you got like a whole posse running around yeah. and, and stuff. And yeah, and like these big ass bosses that you have to climb on and like maybe fight in stages. Yeah, it feels like kind of like a single player MMO almost. Kinda, a little bit, yeah. And then there's the aspect of like sharing. Characters. I never know if he's gonna say I got it or not. <laughs> ah. Ah. All right. Well, I, I don't want to. I didn't know this was gonna be the next thing we would do. I don't want to necessarily spend a ton of time on no, this. No, but this looks like it runs really. It, it seems well. totally fine. Oh, I can just leave. Let's just, <laughs> let's, just let's just go explore for a second. <laughs> right. Let's see what's out there. Um, oh, is that another quest? It's closed. Uh, I'm not. Uh, so this. I mean, Dark Arisen was a re-release. Of Dragon's Dogma, and I'm, yeah. not, I'm not super clear what was different, other than that people seem to like it a hell of a lot better. <laughs> I think the first game, the original release, had like some maybe control issues, like it didn't play super great. 
Uh, and then they put this out and it was just improved and streamlined and smoothed out, I think. Well sturdy, this place. Uh, oh. So, anyway, you know, this is obviously the, the Dark Arisen release of the game. Uh, how much is uh, this? Oh, I totally forgot to check. It might be 30 bucks. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I I started to say I would assume it was full price because I mean it was on the other consoles. Uh, I mean, you know, it's basically a 360 game. Yeah. But it runs totally fine and like it, it's, it seems to carry over the like pawn stuff which I in the yeah, it's social got, sharing stuff which is a, a big part of it. Um but it kind of seems like uh oof, that seems bad. Uh, it kind of seems like the th same thing as like Dark Souls and Skyrim and stuff like that on the Switch, you know, that it's not, it's not a trifle, you know, it's not something that you play for five minutes at a time, it's like a big-ass, sprawling, like, deep RPG, you know? Yeah, like, you're gonna be on a train yes. for six hours. Yeah, like, it still kind of blows my mind that games of this scope fit on a handheld, like, yeah. really well now, like, it's... Oh, get him off! Get him off, get him off, get him off! Uh, so it seems like another one of those, and like I'm kind of interested in where it's going <laughs> as much as I was like wary of getting into it. Yeah, uh, you just gotta it, rename your pawn there. Yeah, or just maybe roll with it, you know. Yeah. It'll probably be fine either way. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's... That's how Dragon's Dogma do on a Switch. Thanks, Ben. Yeah.